Okay, let's look at some of these little motors here. This one uh, has a um, reed switch and it um, has a VCR drum uh, that's used with magnets placed on it uh, at the 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock positions around here and they're super glued on and taped. Reed switch is up here and my coils, I wound them by filer this time around to give them a little extra kick. Alright, and we got uh, two 9 volt batteries we're going to power this thing with. So let me set the camera down for a second and get the battery connected here. I got the right polarities? No, I don't. Here we go. I love those VCR drums. They have great bearings. They spin tremendously fast. And because it's up against some papers behind it, it's not moving. Occasionally it moves across the table. Let me take the battery off this thing. And you can see it takes quite a while to stop spinning there. generally about 50 seconds or so and another one I've been working on recently this is from lid motor uh, his schematic up there on the TV let me get a little bit closer this is one of lid motors designs two transistor uh, NPN and a PNP transistor two resistors uh, power source and a, a coil, one coil, and this will will drive a little diametrically magnetized magnet. And I just uh, put a diode there. He's using the LED. Actually, I just made a little trashy looking little board here with this circuit. And um, actually, I put two LEDs in series because LEDs burn out on me. I use more voltage than the lid motor does. I got a little 9 volt battery hooked up to it. And this thing's all ready for Christmas with the red hat. And it likes to go dancing. Let's see if we can get it to dance. Hang on a second. Yeah, I need to set the camera down to get this thing running at the right speed. Let's stop it before it falls off. So this is running up 9 volts as opposed to the low voltage the load motor uses. And I think I'll stop it here. Cut the noise. And everybody have a Merry Christmas.